This is Kat with Vita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a braided bracelet using crystallette buttons and ultra suede cord. So I have an example of what we're gonna be doing here in this video, and you can see that for this example, I use those lovely pearl and gold crystallette buttons, and you can sort of see how the nice little shanks are on the back. So you have this beautiful sort of winding pattern on the front. And we're just gonna finish this off with some ribbon crimps, a jump ring, and a magnetic clasp. So what you're gonna need for this is I'm gonna be using the Ultra Suede in the three millimeter, and I'm gonna do a black version today. And you're also gonna need your ribbon crimps, your jump rings, and these are five millimeter 20 gauge open jump rings, my magnetic clasp here, and then I have my crystallette buttons. So we're gonna be using the entire package here. So what you might wanna consider is that if you want to do a longer bracelet, you might need to purchase additional crystallettes. But I'll go ahead and break that down for you in just a minute here. So to kind of get myself started, I have three cords of 10 millimeters each. And you can see that on the top, I've clipped them so that they're nice and flat. And on the bottom, I've clipped them so that they have this nice little angle to them. And that'll actually help with stringing on my crystallettes. But the first thing that we're gonna do is I have, like I said, my, my 10 inches here. And this will give you about a six inch, six and a half inch bracelet. So if you want something a little bit longer, you'll get three yards of cord with this. So you can definitely make it a little longer if you're unsure of how it's gonna all braid together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these down and I'm gonna kinda bring them close together here. And I'm gonna start by adding that ribbon crimp just to kinda anchor all three of my cords. So I'm just gonna line them up with my fingers there, place my ribbon crimp right on top and it sort of fits those three cords nice and perfectly. And then I'm gonna take my chain nose pliers, kind of coming over the top here, just to make sure that it's gonna be nice and centered. And get it on there, there we go, and just give it a nice little pinch. And you don't wanna to pinch too hard because we're just gonna kind of work our way around. And this will help from sort of marring any of that beautiful silver plate there. All right, and we're just gonna go on the side. And you can see that it's getting nice and trapped in there. But we just wanna give it a couple extra squeezes just to make sure that those little teeth on those ribbon crimps are gonna be nice and tight on our ultra suede because we're gonna be pulling at this just a little bit. All right, so now I have my ribbon crimp firmly attached and I'm gonna be using a macrame board. And I'll just kinda of show you the, the front side. This is generally used for macrame. It's actually the mini version. So it's kinda of fun to use uh, to help you know anchor your work. But I just wanted something to tape my surface to, or tape my uh, piece to so that it's onto my surface. All right, so I'm just gonna be using just a little, little piece of just some blue painter's tape there. I'm just gonna kinda anchor that right to my surface. All right, nice and secure. All right, so the next step is to start adding on the crystallettes to our cords. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do seven on the first cord and seven on this cord and then six on the middle cord. So again, like you can see, I've clipped it so that it's nice and easy to string on. So you're gonna get it on there and then either using your fingers to slide it down. You can also use your pliers to sort of get it onto the crystallette. So you don't need to worry too, or onto the cord. So you don't need to worry too much about that spacing. Just go ahead and string them all on here. You'll just wanna make sure that they're all facing the right direction. So I'm gonna work with mine facing up. That's the easiest way I feel to work. So I'm gonna continue stringing these seven, six, and seven. And then I'll be right back to show you to get started on our braid. Okay, so I've got all of my crystallettes on here. I have seven, six, and seven. And I, you can see that I've pushed on the two outer strands here. I've just pushed these up towards the top about a half an inch or so from the top there. So what we're gonna start to do is we're gonna start to braid. And as we braid, we are going to start pushing up those crystallettes where we want them to be. You can see on my example here, they sit nicely on the outside. And that's just sort of a nice little um, back and forth with the crystallettes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I, I go right first, however you braid, you can also follow along with what I'm doing or you can do your own thing. So braid here, there we go. This will be nice. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up all three strands. That's just how it's easier for my brain to work. <laughs> all right, and then 
we're getting this one. So I need a crystallette up here. So I'm going to go ahead and push that up. Go. And you can make this braid as tight or as loose as you like, but because of the flat nature of the cord, you're just going to want to keep it nice and flat together so that they're not twisting over each other. All right, and then taking that left and bringing that over. And again, I'm going to need a crystallette to just push right up there. There we go. And you can see I want to kind of adjust those ones at the top there just so that they start to lay really nicely for me. All right, and again, just bringing it over and pushing it up and bringing this guy over. Again, making sure that they stay the right side up. All right, so you can start to see how this is forming a little bit of that little braid there. So you just keep this going. And the sort of rule of thumb here is when you bring a cord up and over the top, you're going to slide a crystallette down towards it because you're getting it right on those outside pieces there. All right, I'm bringing this one over. And I'm just going to slide that up. Go. So I'm going to continue this until I reach the other side here, and then I'm going to show you how to finish it off. Okay, so you can see that we've come to the end here and I've just slid on my last crystalette and I've just kind of done just a little bit of adjusting just to make sure that those crystalette buttons are going to be right where I want them to. So it's nice and even, so we have a nice and even braid. So on that last one, so you're gonna cross it over so that one's gonna land in the center. And now you're just gonna bring those three cords together right at the bottom here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip off and we're gonna add our ribbon crimp. So what you wanna do is because the ribbon crimp is nice and tiny, we're just gonna kind of eyeball it here, say, okay, well that's, that's good enough for me. So now all we need to do is trim these three cords right here. So you can either use scissors or your flush cutters and just go ahead and cut straight across just as we did in the beginning there. There we go. And I'm gonna go and set those aside. And just to flip it around to make it a little easier to see, I'm gonna line up my cords. I have a little, little straggler, there we go. I'm gonna line up my cords again. And then right on top of that, I'm going to take my chain nose pliers one more time. And this is gonna be a little bit different because you can see that they wanna kinda of separate a little bit. So you might need to kind of edge it out and just go really slow. Just keep them all together because you want them all to get in those nice little, little grooves there of those teeth. All right. There we go. Come on, guys. It's that last, that side one. There we go. Just going to pinch them all together there. All right, there we go. Just give it a nice couple of squeezes with those pliers. There we go. All right, so now we are finished. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of my tape there. So this is what we have so far. All right, and now we're just gonna add our jump rings here and our magnetic clasp. So go ahead and take your chain nose pliers. And I have two pairs here just to help me out with those jump rings. Gently twist and string this onto one side and I'm gonna catch the loop of one side of my magnetic clasp, which is attached now to my plier. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just gonna repeat on the other side. All right. And we're just gonna bring it together here. Oops. <laughs> 
sometimes the magnetic clasps will magnetize your jump rings or your <laughs> clasp there. So, all right, so that is what we have. So we have a beautiful, lovely braided bracelet featuring the crystalettes. And check out many more of our colors of the crystalettes and ultra suede to personalize this to your taste. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find all of these supplies and even more videos at betaholic.com.